that died. To see these kids who had the least to gain, and yet their loyalty to each other, their courage under fire, uh, was just phenomenal. Filmmaker Ken Burns tackled everything from baseball to national parks to the Civil War takes on one that is still a tough subject for a lot of people in this country. The story of the Vietnam War comes to PBS in the fall, and he is here with co-director Lynn Novick. You, you screened it last night, thanks to the folks at KERA. What, what was the reaction? There's a kind of palpable feeling everywhere we screen it of this sort of sense, you know, this is, as one of our veterans, a Marine, says in the film, it's like, we don't talk about Vietnam. It's like living in a family with an alcoholic father. Shh, we yeah. don't talk about that. And all of the divisions that we experience today politically, this sort of red state, blue state divide, the inability to have a civil discourse, this sense that I'm right and you're wrong or vice versa, all of it had its seeds in Vietnam. So Lynn and I decided what, and we spent the last 10 years, what if we could unpack the story and make room for everybody's points of view? And it's not morally relative, it just permits everybody, and not just the diversity of American opinion, but the diversity of Vietnamese opinion, because they're still divided about that war. They lost millions of people in that war, and they're now beginning to ask some really serious questions about whether it was worth it, you know, whether the sacrifice was worth what was gained. And and it still divides a country. If Jane Fonda does a comedy movie and we dare to put her up on a satellite interview, the phone calls, the, 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 the telephone system melts down with people uh, who are angry about it. And yet John McCain, who was tortured in North Vietnam, is forgiveness, has, has forgiveness in his heart. Yeah, well, I think you're touching on the, the point is this is still a raw nerve for our country. It's sort of unfinished business. We've never really been able to talk about it, like Ken was saying. It's very painful, largely because we lost, because our mission there was confusing and complicated. And so it, people are upset, and we don't know what to do with that. And we also don't really know what happened. What, is, is there a lesson for today's leaders? Because the, the current general, some of the generals coming up now, one, two, three, four stars yeah. on their shoulders, didn't fight in Vietnam. But they That's studied right. it. Yeah. They, yeah. they studied. You know, with the Pal Doctrine was, that applied to the first Gulf War was really the military trying to learn the lessons of Vietnam. But very quickly, as you suggest, as new generations come up, we have to remember that we made lots of mistakes in Vietnam. And the first one was not just blaming the soldiers initially, mm -hmm. but we never really understood how to tell them what the mission was. One guy says, war is a real estate business. Everybody gets that. But we'd ask these Marines or Army guys to go and take a hill at tremendous cost to themselves and their buddies, then as soon as they take the hill, you abandon it, and two weeks later, guess what? They're back up there, so we've got to go back up there. And after a while, even the most loyal soldier is going to say, something's wrong here. And from Truman to Eisenhower to Kennedy, and also, of course, Johnson and Nixon, people are making decisions about this war based on domestic political considerations, i.e., right. will I get reelected? Instead of what's the best policy? What are we doing here? Yep. Is the national interest involved? And so when you begin to make decisions, they're a little bit skewed by that. And, and you know, we're equal opportunity critics here in this. You know, we're umpires calling balls and strikes. We have no political agenda that we wish to advance. We wish to say, there is bravery and courage in every aspect of this, and it has been forgotten. And the way to get back to having a real conversation, a courageous conversation about what happened and the decisions, is A, to learn, as Lynn said, about all the new stuff we've learned, but also to begin to listen to each other rather than yell at each that other. That is the lesson for the ages, and it comes to PBS stations, including KERA, in the fall. Thank you both. We have a link with more information uh, to the show The Vietnam War coming up this fall on PBS. We have lots more coming. Evan Tracking.